looks like the both the boats must have come together so they'll have to head back to the start for a, a restart nice day at Fleetwood today looks like the uh, wind is more or less straight down the lake object of this exercise is the two boats set off at the top end and it's the first one down to this end for two points see the ripples are straight across the lake so they're now back at the top end Peter Whiteside's the one with the red spinnaker I can't quite make out who the uh, white boat is. Kevin's going to take this near bank on the left side. And they're off. See the... the uh, curvy pattern on the ripples are all over the place red bolts going to this near side whereas the white spinnaker is going straight down the lake that's if it's got a spinnaker on it oh, Kevin's on the near bank waiting for the boat to come in Uh, it's come in, so he'll have his right hand on the mast and his left hand alters the vane gear. Again, to move it off the bank, it's thumb towards you, or it'll be clockwise on this direction now. And the white spinnaker boat is moving towards the far bank, which he might get stuck if there's a slight bias on the wind both moving over that way now but looks like Kevin's got the better position good speed going down there now it's a nice brisk walk doesn't have to run after it oh, Spinnaker seems to be collapsing a little that happens it'll bring it back into the side again it's coming in so what Kevin will do he'll try and walk to the edge and try and walk it off a bit more high pressure wind going between himself and the boat as if you've built a wall if you build a wall across the path then the air's got to funnel between the, yourself and the boat and, and work it away from the edge there he's trying to walk it off again oh, there you see it slight bit of deviation there where it's moved away <laughs> coming up to the finish line These are marble heads, 50 inch long, whole 800 square inches of sail area. And there we have it, he's over the line. And Kevin, and Peter. I think this one might be called Bosun's Mate. Somebody will correct me if I'm wrong. And the other boat, 
as uh, nowhere to be seen. He must have banked over the far side. Oh, there he is. Once you get on that far bank, if the wind's at an angle, you can't get off it. Richard Enos's boat. 